Hey guys, it's Phoenix. I was initially going to post my live stream as a highlight to really highlight how I felt about the new textures, so sort of my initial reaction. You can still view that in the description of this video. Also, you can download this resource pack. We will be receiving across all platforms of Minecraft, most platforms of Minecraft, uh, and play around with it. This is 1.12.2, so I was expecting my views to sort of get better, to improve, um, so I can really feel my way through these new textures, but I really couldn't because of the inconsistencies surrounding it. If I was to give this a grade out of, I don't know, a letter grade, it'd probably be a C plus to a B minus, and that hasn't really changed throughout my live stream. Now, the reason why I say this is because, for one, Jasper has done a good job with texturing. He is clearly a good artist, and he does know how to keep the general shape of blocks, the general color scheme of blocks. However, as you can see from this screenshot here, this moving screenshot, there is clearly some drastic disparities between the types of blocks we're viewing in front of us. The crops on the bottom left are very rough, very jagged. The oak blocks on the bottom are very sharp. Now you will see this later on on my other world, which I've juxtaposed a bunch of blocks together so you can observe them, examine them for yourselves. And you can see from the oak stairs on the top right, they're very smooth. And the cobblestone at the bottom, just underneath, are very blurry. And the glass is highlighted. It's very sharp, and you can clearly see the borders around them. Okay? Now everyone's gonna say, oh, use the resource pack, you're just whinging. If you don't like the resources, just download a texture pack and upload it, right? Because they are changing the core structure of the game. This is something that you cannot escape. This idea cannot be escaped. They're changing the face of the game. This is, from a marketing perspective, not a good sign. I'm starting to see a lot of switching and changing with the styles. Maybe he's reacting to the community uh, responses. That's reasonable. But for him to say steadfast and resolute with what he's trying to convey or aim to do, he really needs to stick with himself and then lay out the resource pack from his own perspectives. Because right now, I'm seeing a whole uh, bunch of different art styles which will not fit if he's really trying to sell this. Now, we all know that his marketing or his purpose for changing these textures is to try and fit with the terracotta. This is not working, okay? So now you can see how the glass looks like bubble wrap. And that's the first thing that I really saw from this. And the mansion really highlights this. Otherwise, the mansion looks fine. The darkness of it does save it from its issues. Alright, so here I've just laid out a bunch of blocks and items which are not necessarily bad, but are the ones which we need to point out and take across from this uh, new resource pack. So, I've already talked about the glass and how it should not tile like this. You can see that some sides are darker than the others, uh, and it's really highlighted and pronounced from the fact that we don't have any detail in the center of the glass anymore. The fact that we can see straight through them basically means the only detail, the only glaring detail, is the sides. And we don't want that, because glass is not meant to tile like this. Now, a lot of you are probably going to say, well, it's impossible, right? You can't really do anything about it. We can by simply adding some detail to this, which is why I prefer the old glass and not the current one. This needs to change. Uh, the second one, and perhaps the worst part of this resource pack, is this. Diamond blocks, emerald blocks, and gold blocks. Less so the gold blocks, but it's still obvious. Um, he's trying to shade, and that's not going to work. He's adding shadow to existing 2D textures. It is clearly 2D, and I don't know where he's gotten this idea from. A lot of people are saying he's just taken this from Mario and just reskinned it to make it fit into Minecraft. It's not going to fit. He's really trying to portray 3D details in obviously 2D sides, right? We can see that he's trying to put, well, protrude the center of this, but it's never going to work because that's not how blocks work in Minecraft, okay? This does not belong in Minecraft, and I don't know why he's chosen to do this. I'm not sure where he's got this knowledge from, or why no one's really told him, or maybe this is just a one-man's job. This tells me that he's doing this alone. I really pity him, but for this to be added into the game really shows some incapabilities on his part. This is a huge mistake, and I hope this will change as well. 
Um, this more so probably doesn't have to change. Uh, the netherrack looks totally fine, but the soul sand, at first glance when I saw this, I thought the soul sand did not fit at all. But then I realized that soul sand is something like a pathogen. It's like a, a virus that's spreading in the nether. And it does look like that. Uh, the way that the netherrack and soul sand spawn in certain orientations in the nether dimension makes this work. So I'm actually okay with this. Uh, soul sand isn't necessarily a decorative block, but it can be now, and that's how I see it. So props for the soul sand. Might be an accident, but it definitely works for me. Now I'm actually going to view this one first uh, for the trees. I have to say that the vines and the leaves work perfectly. This is beautiful. The contrast is very clear, but that's because vines have to be clear enough for us to see it and break it for ourselves. Um, but the fact that the leaves and the vines mix so well, I actually like. However, this I don't. The way I see this is sharp bark trying to be textured over the logs, uh, and it's more obvious when you have a tall oak tree like this. Um, this needs to either smoothen out or just revert, or maybe brighten it. That might work because right now the darkness is too obvious for me. Um, and this is so clear for me because this is a five block uh, tall log that's visible. Um, and so that's too sharp, but we've got birch trees that are too blurry. And the acacia is clearly just this, but reskinned. Um, for me, I do not like how this approach has changed from one thing to another. Uh, this highlights a big problem with this resource pack. Uh, to be able to juxtapose these different textures together and see how they're so different really just shows a lot of inconsistencies. And you can see how much clearer it is. You have no shading whatsoever, and even such a bright block, which is birch, you can see how it's very consistent. But when I turn it back on, I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Is he trying to blur textures? Is he trying to sharpen textures? Because these are completely two different sides of the same coin. This needs to change. Otherwise, I do like the trees. Thumbs up for that. On to the mushrooms. Again, big problem. I'm willing to accept that this is probably just a mistake, um, a careless one. Uh, maybe he just didn't know. But by making the mushrooms larger, they are now disproportionate to the mushroom. Okay, I forgot to show you guys this, but if you share a snowman, it has no face. Okay, moving on to the furnace. Um, I think this is just objectively bad, the way the furnace is designed. If you take a close look at it, the furnace definitely looks like it's just two slabs put together. Uh, this is a little bit darker than this one, um, but they have exactly the same shape, and I don't think this is going to work. Like, I'm looking at this, and some people could think this is a furnace. This also looks like a furnace. So the problem with this is that it looks like it's slabs, and I noticed this immediately because this was placed in a village, a blacksmith, which has slabs. And I noticed, and I made the comparison really quickly, uh, these are just slabs, so this needs to be fixed. Uh, this is not just, like, subjectively bad. I think this is objectively worse. Um, and the TNT we'll have to get used to. This is actually TNT. It looks like TNT and it tiles like TNT. But this is terrible. This redstone lamp is horrible. This has to go. Along with the gold blocks, diamond blocks, emerald blocks, this redstone lamp needs to change. All right? This is not redstone anymore. In fact, it's so badly contrasted that this needs a rework completely. Now this reminds me of something that I want to show you guys. Uh, this melon is an example of a block that does not tile vertically. Although melon blocks probably shouldn't tile vertically anyway. Um, well, for the most part. I think melons should probably have this shadow gone. Um, if I take off the resource pack, you can see how the melons now stack very well and beautifully. And now you can see how the furnace looks different for now, right? Moving along to chainmail. Now, it's a good idea that I put chainmail like this so you can see it without the resource pack because it's not an item that we see very frequently. Um, now, with the resource pack, you can see why the chainmail just doesn't work. You can see why the pieces just don't add up for this. 
Um, in contrast, if, if you try it out with the diamond armor, the gold armor, which is now new, um, everything's smooth. This is not what chainmail is supposed to look like. Just to make this longer, right? Finally, we come to the items which I think must be changed. I don't know why I put this twice. This is supposed to be poisoned. And maybe you just throw this in there too. This is a hot dog. That's not a hot dog. That doesn't know it's a hot dog. This is a poisonous potato. This is a peanut. Cocoa beans, okay, I'll give them that. I think the cocoa beans could be a little better. This looks like an echidna right now. Snowballs, that's for you to decide. I don't really see snowballs a lot in real life. But I do think this is too blue. I'm pretty sure snow is meant to be white and not blue. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this and this, this should have been placed up here actually. Um, the apples and some other items, I think, should not uh, be this low. I think, um, and this is really obvious from the creative menu, I think the apple needs to be shifted upwards a little bit. Uh, otherwise, I don't have a lot of comments about the items because for me, the items don't play a bigger role, big enough role in Minecraft for them to be the face of the game. I'm making such a big deal out of the blocks because this is the face of the game. By completely changing the face of the game, you're essentially saying we want this game to look different. We want this game to appeal to a different audience now. Now I'm not sure whether this is the best marketing strategy for Mojang and Microsoft. They are taking a huge risk with this and it hasn't paid off for me and it hasn't paid off for a lot of the community. Now the community never had a gripe for, for the most part, never had any gripes about the textures. And now by reworking all of these textures, you're creating a problem that was never there. Now I want to go back to this idea of what the purpose of this retexturing job is. If your main impetus for doing this was to try and stick with the terracotta art style, I leave you with this question. Does this terracotta block look more like the bedrock? or the diamond block on your right. I don't even need to show you guys the diamond block. What about the birch log block? What about this? So I hope you guys got something out of this video. I know that a lot of you would disagree with my opinions. I did play with this. I want to just tell you guys that I did play with this resource pack for a few hours. In fact, I'm pretty sure playing with these textures has made my opinion a lot more concrete and clear about this direction that Minecraft is heading in. There are two things I want to say to finish off this video. Number one, the existing builds don't change a lot from far away, but up close, they look a lot more modernized. And the second thing is, which textures will I be using? I'm sure as heck going to be using the old textures right now. If this doesn't change, if this idea does not change, and because these textures have been nurtured for so many years, the retexturing job needs to take nearly as long because I want this to be right. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more creative content. Leave your feedback in the comments. Take care.